Rams wide receivers taking on Baltimore Monday night. Brandon Cooks cleared the concussion protocol. He'll be in there. Robert Woods back with the team. Status for Monday night to be determined. Josh Reynolds didn't practice with an injury with on illness. Thursday, but you've got yeah with an il- illness. Illness, so he should be he should be okay to go. But the, his usage, I mean, it, it comes down a lot to what is Robert Woods playing or not, and we don't have information on that yet. Are you willing to go to the wire with Woods, knowing if you can pivot to Reynolds yes. against Baltimore? Um, a tough matchup. I, I mean, I so yes. Uh, within Debo reason. Samuel or wait for Robert Woods? I would, that would be a Debo Samuel. That's what I'm saying within reason. If there's a good play out there, and I would go as far down as to say Russell Gage, I would be willing to roll with Russell Gage uh, against Tampa Bay. But if you don't have any other good options, then yeah, you you would uh, roll Woods and then pivot to Josh Reynolds if you needed to. Cooper Cup, last three weeks. Bye week, Goose, and then three for 53. Brandon Cooks, he's been out. Robert Woods, we don't know if he'll be back in there. The one thing we do know is that Josh Reynolds has played basically every snap when one of these guys has been missing, but he's got the illness right now. So, you know, the Ravens secondary playing so well. Upside capped. Yeah, very much so. I mean, Reynolds has been fine. You know, he had the big game when he had to come in when Brandon Cooks uh, left with the concussion. Three for 73 with a touchdown, but three for 40. Three for forty nine, three for fifty five. I mean, those those are fine replacement wide receiver three numbers. But Jason, is your confidence what is your confidence in Josh Reynolds stay the same if Robert Woods plays? No. Okay. No, I'm 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 only putting Josh Reynolds. I mean, in actually, the lineup. I'm, I'm not factoring that Brandon Cooks is it, supposed to be back. So if if all three of the the three Musketeers are back. For the Rams, then Josh Reynolds becomes yeah, and I, and I hope right back to the bench for the sake of Monday Night Football that, that the three are back. You know, we want to see this line is protecting Goff better this last week. One, you know, a very small sample, but they were it was you know addition by subtraction. They lost two of their terrible O linemen, and the replacements came in and said, "Yeah, we were better than those." How guys. many how many pass attempts did he even have? Oh, 18, I believe. I yeah, mean, it was so, very, I mean, very low. But it, your, also in the running game. not give up sacks if he hands the ball to Gurley 25 times. Yeah, but the point is they were succeeding early in the running game. They were opening up lanes for Gurley, which actually allows the play action that Goff thrives in to, to work. And, um, you know, he had a couple. You know, you look at the Josh Reynolds touchdown that was called back and the Cooper Cup 50-yard touchdown that was an inch away from being a touchdown and then inch was away on the from goal a line. touchdown, inch away from a turnover. Sure, but my point is those plays happened in right. real life, and if those two things just, you know, the inch is further and the, the holding that didn't affect the play isn't called, then you're looking at Goff last week as a monster fantasy option. So this is why, you know, I if he's got his three musketeers, you could be surprised, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to roll with golf this week. I'm just hopeful. Right. Hey, what's up? Glad you're here. Glad you came. Glad you watched the video. You should check out the whole thing. The link is below.